Well, we're going to stick on the Thank theme you. now of um, the anti-Semitism because joining us to discuss this is the editor of the Jewish News, Richard Ferrer. Richard, thank you for joining us this morning. What, what was your reaction to uh, Nadim Zahawi's announcements? Oh, thanks for having me on, by the way. Good morning, everyone. Um, shock and a sense of inevitability. I mean, as Paul said, the NUS uh, represents thousands of, of students nationwide, 600 student unions. It prides itself on its anti-racism credentials, has done since I was a student way back in the midst of times, defending minorities. Um, and to have an organisation like that have its government funding cut and to lose its place on the table at the Department of Education because, and let's not forget, being investigated by the Charities Commission um, because the Education Secretary suspects it's a, a snake pit of Jew hate. Um, I, I suggest that the current um, leadership of the NUS hangs its head in shame. Do you recognise that there is a serious problem with anti-Semitism within the NUS and maybe more broadly on our campuses? Um, well, I mean, as Arlene also alluded to, I mean, it's always been a political hotbed campus life. You know, um, 10, even 10, 15 years ago, uh, they were focusing when Wes Street in the current um, Shadow Health Secretary was president of the NUS. Uh, they, they focused on the things that mattered, you know, the, the, the cost of living crisis, student tuition fees, um, housing for students on campus. Uh, I was reading this morning that two in five British uh, families have had to cut the cost of their, their food a lot. Uh, shopping uh, in the last month. I mean, the, you can imagine how that must be hitting students on campus. These are the day-to-day -day issues that, that the NUS used to focus on. Now, of course, it's run by militant ideologues uh, with colossal Corbynite chips on their shoulder who, um, who see less about the day-to-day -day reality that they should be focusing on and, and focus more on uh, the, the, the perceived sins of Western ideology and, uh, of course, uh, and, and foreign policy and specifically the, the politics of the Middle East uh, uh, yeah. and Israel. They can't change that sphere. Um, Hamas is a, a brutal dictatorship uh, and they're not Israeli, so they don't have a vote. In Israel. So I suggest they focus on what they can uh, achieve and, and how they can improve the lots of students on campus today and, and, and stop this nonsense. Mm -hmm. Do you think the NUS will reform, though? Uh, no, no, of course it won't. Um, I mean, if you look at some of the bullet points, if you look at some of the the reasons why we have got to this stage, it's an ongoing issue. And I suggested maybe 10, 15 years ago, it had its priorities right. But but since then, it's just been an absolute catalogue. Um, uh, one former uh, president of the United, um, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the National Union of Students called uh, Birmingham University an outpost of Zionism while in post as the president. It's boycotted uh, Israel and adopted loads of different campaigns about isolating Israel. Uh, its current president uh, is alleged to have told Jew Jews to segregate themselves if they don't like what they hear. Um, they've, I'm trying to think, they've ignored Judaism on an NUS questionnaire about religion. Uh, the incumbent president, I believe, has, um, sorry, not the incumbent, the one that's coming on after the current one has uh, uh, tweeted uh, threats to, to Jews and sympathise with Hamas. Um, it's It all adds up to one message, doesn't it? Students are not welcome on campus in the NHS if you're Jewish, because um, it, 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 it translates to uh, this mob mentality um, of uh, isolating Israel and, um, and picking on Jews through um, anti-Zionism. Well, Richard, that's all we have time for, but thank you for joining us this morning to share your insights. Richard Ferrer there, the editor of Jewish News.